All right, let's welcome in our first guest from 230 Factor. We've got Sandeep J. Shah. He's the CEO of Sampriti Capital right here in our studios. Great to have you here, Sandeep. But let's start with this drip down effect of positive news, which seems to now become a tide of positive news, uh, undeterring the bulls, uh, even ahead of this election verdict, which is a crucial one. How do you read this? Well, it's interesting you should say uh, a huge uh, flood of positive news because we just saw the IIP numbers today, which, were, which hit a 16-year low. And, you know, the market doesn't see that. So it's, you know, it's really a question of what do you want to focus on, right? At, as, you know, at around uh, 8,000 cents X, I mean, nobody could see even the first positive glimmer. That is, things can't get worse from here. And now, you know, we have a really bad IIP number. Of course, it's not that bad in the sense that it's really capital goods. And I would expect capital goods to be a laggard in any case. You know, that's what's driving it. But I think the point is that, um, you know, we've, we hadn't had a really big rally, uh, you know, in the bear market. Uh, there was so much of negative news. There's so much of liquidity flowing in uh, all over the world. And I think that's the single most important thing, whether it's liquidity lying with investors or it's liquidity being pumped into the economy by central bankers. I think that's the key thing. Of course, I think that um, you know, uh, of course, everything depends on, you know, I mean, the market's going to be very volatile from day after onwards because the exit polls and, you know, all the political maneuvering will start. But I think the upside in the market is probably 4,000. You know, I mean, that's really how I, I look at it. And that has been my target uh, since Feb, actually. You think uh, in between that journey to 4,000, you're going to get one big dip and then perhaps uh, well, move up again? It's possible if, you know, we have a third front. But I think there's an interesting counterpoint to the third front. I, I don't think it may be true this time. But the last time, the third front, I think they were called the United Front, beca became the government. I think we saw more happening, more uh, action taken by the government in their first 90 days than any other government I have ever seen. So. But, you know, I, I'm not, this is not to say that I'm optimistic because of a left, uh, a, a third front government. What I'm trying to say is that, you know, you know, perceptions and reality can often be, you know, dramatically different. But yes, uh, you know, if there's, if uh, uh, no single party or no single coalition has less than 160 seats, uh, you know, and they're very close and there's a lot of political maneuvering happening, so sure, the market will get nervous. So uh, correction is always possible. But, you know, uh, you know, predicting these day-to-day -day movements becomes a far trickier game. No, but Sandeep, if you have this gap between perception and reality, that will be a good opportunity for you to go and capture and buy into this market? Um, see, well, you know, if the market were to sell off to, to say, 3,400, well, surely I would buy. As long as, uh, you know, it, it doesn't look like a third front government coming in. But if it's a third front government, then I might still wait a little longer, you know, because you could have more serious downside. You could, have, you could see downsides of even 3,000 on the Nifty. You know, so it's really a question of which, uh, is, is it going to be a Congress government supported by the left? But it's capped at 3,000. I don't think it will stay below 3,000. I mean, you know, it could always intraday, you could see some sort of, you know. So let's just, uh, you know, focus on the worst case uh, scenario sure. or the so-called perceived worst case that a left or a third front or a fourth front, whatever comes to power, not a U Congress led UP or a BJP led NDA. Sure. Uh, is it really going to be th that bad? Uh, you know, you might get a sharp knee jerk sort of a reaction, a sell off, so on and so forth, but people are going to come back. Uh, it's not just, uh, it's, it's, you know, elections are happening here in India, but uh, abroad there are other things which are happening. Uh, and uh, which don't leave much choice for investors but to put their money in markets like India. That's what at least a lot of FIs have been saying. No, I, I absolutely agree with you uh, on that point that, uh, you know, the market will get obsessed and will get, uh, you know, absolutely manic about a third front government, but that manic period will last a few days, maybe weeks, you know. Uh, but um, because, you know, ultimately, I think India, India's growth trajectory, uh, I mean, even though we've seen a bit of a blip, I think it's going to continue. No government can totally alter that. You know, probably a government could make a difference of 200 bips point in terms of GDP growth. That's a serious number. They can do that, you know, if you have reform or if you suddenly let the labor unions rule everything. So you could impact IIP, you could impact the economy, but you're broadly right. I mean, you know, I think India's, uh, I, I think India's economy has bottomed out in the, even in spite of the IIP numbers. I think we have broadly touched bottom. Things are only going to get, uh, are improve at a broad level. You know, you will see blips. So to that extent, you're right. You know, after a, a month or two, I think the market will forget it. But individual sectors could get very badly affected. If there are certain uh, decisions taken by the left government or a government impacting certain industries, you know, there could be a lot of those things. It, PSUs could be dramatically affected. There could be so many industry or sector specific news which could impact those. But the rest of the market will, you know, and the rest of India will continue. I mean, I, I don't think anything can stop the India growth story.